glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas has been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. of the Ozarks in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Razorback Stadium would be the setting for our college football matchup. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Taken down at about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run up the middle. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 47. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 47. Brought down at the 45-yard line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. They'll bring him down at the 40. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Through his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Pulls it in, and he could score. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Here's the eighth play of the series. And the 
and they make the stop around the 24-yard line. Anderson's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. From the 24-yard line, second down. This one's going deep to the end zone. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. This is the 10th play of this drive. He launches one for the end zone. That'll bring up fourth and long, and we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. So they're going to go for it here. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he's got it, touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 72 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Harris is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. So the Aggies have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Pass is tipped away. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26. He's on the run. Tackle right around the 34. Makes it to the 47. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way out to about the 35. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. That'll bring up second and three. They can't hang with us. My far, my far. Kill, kill. Kill out. Slam, slam, slam. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's hit immediately. scrambled and he's going to be sacked for a loss a defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive first nightmare he's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play and as a play caller you constantly have to be aware of it 
Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And down he goes, right around the 20. Touchdown, Aggies! That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. So the Aggies are one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Taken from the three yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. We played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Heading for the corner. He's brought down in the open field. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He's to the 40. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Six yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. Gaining three yards. Third down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 35-yard line, first down. The Razorbacks, running backs, sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ballgame. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. That brings him second and one. With the pass, incomplete. Hopefully he's going to be okay. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Gets out to around the 18. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. 
right now this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. He steps out at the 12. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick throw to the tight end. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Black five. Run, run, run. Up the middle for a nice game. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Throws it away. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five. The Razorbacks quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room, and the word we're getting, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to play. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. the extra point. Arkansas is lining up to kick this one off. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 31. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Second and five. Ball on the 31. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Fires to the wideout, first down. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gets it out to him again. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Come on, let's go. Mike five. Mike five. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Black five. He's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and ten. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. Mike five, Mike five. Kill, kill. Check, 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 check. Good. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 25 yard line. It's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. 
inside the 10 and he shoved out of bounds around the seven yard line balls the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night Herbie I mean if you load the box and take away the run he's going to go up on top if you sit back in the zone he'll kill you with his legs I mean he's a great player and this play is number eight on the drive let's go let's bring it let's bring it my five my five and Touchdown, Texas A&M. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Burton's ready to kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. He's hit and taken down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. the 32-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Get out, get out, get out. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. What about a big play by the defense? He can't hold it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Got it and brought down immediately. Check, check. Answer, dancer. Check 15, check 15. He's going right. It falls incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Black five. Go. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds and this is the ninth play of the current drive here's the throw and i don't think he got anything on that so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Oh, it almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. He heaves it to the end zone. We've played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. He's taken down at the 29. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 36. He picks up a good seven yards there in the quarterback keeper. That'll bring up second and three. Two down, two down. My five, my five, my five. Yeah, he's two, two. Right nine. 36, 36. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. Slides on the play. That's, That's a gain of 14, 14 yards, yards on the play. play. First, First down. down. Right and left, right and left. Two down, two down. Check four, check two. Two kill. Three down. Two down. Hey, left three, left three. Hey, 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 hey. He's going to try and scramble. <laughs> Dives forward. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle right around the 34. Freeman makes the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Call the game of 11 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down. Check number six. Check yeah. eight, 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 eight. Hey, check, 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 check. 36, 36. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. <laughs> Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That'll make it 35. He tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. 
The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Burke has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it 31. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Texas A&M has a three-point lead. make the stop at the 22. Ball comes in from the 22 yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here he goes. And he's tackled at the nine yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. Check four, check four. Like five. Yeah, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. 36, 36. He goes out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. That makes his third and goal. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw. Touchdown, Aggies. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 47-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. The score now, 24-14 from the seven. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Pass 
passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. That makes it second and ten. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He's taken down at the 38. Third down. Aldrich, get to the ball, get to the ball, get to the ball. They're just one quarter away. 24-14, Aggies. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Red two. Ball is loose, fumble. Defense has it, it's one of the corners. He fights forward to about the 36. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From their own 42-yard line, first down. And two. Up there, up there, up there. He laterals the ball. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Black five, black five, three, 15. He's tackled at the 26. That makes it second and two. Less than three minutes in the game. Red two. Easy, easy. Flair, go. Go, 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 go. Here's an opening. Gets out to around the nine. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. 
And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Wolverines roll into this one ranked eighth in the land. The Terrapins unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. McCarty's found himself open time and time again and twice has made it to the end zone. Well, it seems like every year we have one of those weekends where there's upset specials, and that one would be an upset. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff from the eight-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Texas A&M's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He scrambled, and they got him. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this a second and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Split out the quarterback in the gun. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle around the 33 yard line. Good possession there for the defense. The Razorbacks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Miller will be the return man. at the 34-yard line. The Razorbacks were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they push him out at the 40. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's first down and an eternity. Just over a minute left. Green nine, green nine. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. They come out in a five wide set. He's got his man across the middle, and they make the stop at the 38 yard line. the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. And he is drilled at the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's 
first down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Spikes the ball. Here's the eighth play of the series. We have less than a minute to go. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That brings us fourth and goal. This game now lies squarely on the shoulders of this kicker. If he misses, then this game is all but over. A make, and we're looking at overtime. Kicks up. He got it! We're going to overtime! Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. They'll drop him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Tackles him hard at the 12 yard line. From the 12 yard line, first down. comes the pressure just throws this one away great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled green nine green nine blue four and down he goes at the nine that's good for a gain of three yards that makes it 37 it's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, and it is good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's see what's happening in Ann Arbor. And for Carpenter, a very good day. He cracked the 250-yard mark. Maryland wins it 34-31. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. From the 25-yard line, first down. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 19. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Zip 
takes it out to his runner, and he's got him again. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. So the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a game of the team. That makes it first and goal. Offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down, goal to go. Ten yards to the end zone. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made at the two-yard line. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. Set! Green at eight! That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. We've got second and long. Ball on the 32-yard line. Red two, yellow three, go! Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. That brings us third and 12. And it's almost picked off. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. He gets it up. That's a tough way to lose. The only thing you could do is look forward to the next time that these teams go up against each other.
And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Texas A&M 30, Arkansas 27. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? They clearly weren't the favorites coming in, but I don't think for one second that these coaches didn't have them believing that they were going to win today. Texas A&M could have easily been run off of this field in regulation or in overtime, but they gutted out this very well-deserved win. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.